in the wake of the coronavirus and everything else that's happened this week, football can finally take centre stage. As Slough do finally get us underway and they instantly play a long ball over the top which Jake McCarthy who's dropped into centre half is just going to take on his chest and clear up towards Thompson. Thompson heads it but it goes up in the air on halfway and Garlo is battling in midfield. Calvin Brooks at the moment is the furthest player forward so he could well be operating as the furthest striker but we know how like, he likes to get forward anyway. It balls with Jaden Anthony in midfield. He lays it off to Tom Whelan. Tom Whelan in the centre circle now squares it out towards Jake McCarthy who's got a little heart on his right foot over the top into the channel looking for the run of Brennan Camp. Camp does get there first but his head is just too strong and the goalkeeper Turner is just going to come out off his line and gather that up but that's early intent from Weymouth trying to get down the right hand side. Brooks being face down but he gets inside lays it off towards Jaden Anthony now approaching the edge of the penalty area laid off towards Harfield. Harfield finds Anthony again he's got some room now midway inside his own half he decides to come backwards out towards Whelan though and Whelan thought about a long diagonal out towards the right channel instead he tries to play safe and gives the ball away and that's good work by Slough Town and Togwell had to stretch to keep it alive and Jaden Anthony does manage to get there and he turns inside one then the other and lays it off and has hit the side netting excellent intent by Weymouth still nil nil Thompson down the left hand side, one on one with Harris and Thompson's just about got the better of it, he's trying to get it onto his left foot, find the ball into the penalty area, Harris stands strong though, touches the ball out and Weymouth are going to have the first corner of the afternoon. In towards Thompson, it's gone all the way across the six yard box, falls to McCarthy, blocked by Kelvin Brooks of all people, falls out to Gallo at the edge of the box, long diagonal in, looking for the run of Thompson and Turner is too close to the goalkeeper Turner and he just comes out and gathers the ball at the edge of his six yard box. Oh, there was a run from Jaden Anthony there if Hobson could have seen it, but he didn't. He's decided to now try a long diagonal. Brooks loses his footing. It allows Fraser to win the header. Brennan Camp's going to try and keep it up. Brennan Camp gets down top well. Brennan Camp gets the better of it. Angalo now dancing in towards the edge. Calvin Brooks now gets free onto his left foot. Oh, that's a good save from the goalkeeper. And if that was on Calvin Brooks' right foot, I think he would have added to his goal tally for the season. He got forward. He's claiming his shirt was pulled. The flag stayed down. And his shot was slightly tamed, saved by the feet of Turner. towards Harris, Harris and Cam renewing their duel, Cam gets the better of it this time but the ball drops for Slough and they've got it with Warsford and Warsford plays infield, Harris hits it first time for the edge of the penalty area, good effort from Harris but it went straight down the throat of Callum Ward who didn't even need to adjust his body, and Thompson gets a flick on and McCoy can almost get ahead and Nisbet steps in but Thompson keeps it alive at the edge of the penalty area, he's gone out towards the left byline, he's looking for support and eventually tucks it in field and then it comes back to uh, Harfield couldn't control it, it came back to Thompson. Thompson got to the ball first, the captain um, Togwell, Sam Togwell managed to go to ground and foul Ben Thompson and now Weymouth for a free kick, two yards outside the edge of the penalty area. Whelan prowling the edge of the box, McCarthy and Harfield both around this, it's McCarthy who steps up on his right foot, low, but it was quite a tame effort from Jay McCarthy and Turner again didn't really have to adjust his body and just stepped across and just picked the ball up. Appeals for handball against Tom Whelan in midfield. The referee says nothing to him, and Weymouth are going to bring it away with McCarthy. And another really poor ball from McCarthy, this time behind behind Brennan Camp. Camp had the ball in his hands, and Harris has just steamed into him. In fact, it wasn't Harris, sorry, my apologies. It was Warsford, just steamed into him, pushed him off the ball, pushed him. The, Brennan Camp had the ball in his hands. And Warsford, quite frankly, could end up in the book for this. And Warsford is going to go in the book, and rightfully so. Completely, completely unnecessary by the Slough Town number seven. Completely unnecessary. Here comes the throw in, and it is deep. And it's over everybody except Thompson, who heads clear. Then it drops to Lynch at the edge of the box. He takes it on his chest, hits it on the half volley, but it's over the top of absolutely everybody. And it just bounces off the top of the stand behind that goal in towards Lynch now, lingering on the edge of the penalty area, it's a long diagonal and it's gone all the way across the six yard box and Lee Togwell almost gets in ahead of Hobson, all he can do though is head the ball up in the air. Oh, no. from dropped very very deep into their penalty area and it's come loose to Lee Togwell in the area and he lays it off to Lynch, Lynch with a strike blocked by Jordan Mangalo, appeals for handball but it clearly came off Jordan Mangalo's back and out for another throw in, Camp looking down the line, he's got Brooks 
trying to get around the corner. He flicks it around the corner towards Thompson. He's done really well. Thompson trying to get back inside on his left foot towards the left right hand side of the penalty area. He's got no options up the line so he finds Angalo and Angalo finds Brooks in the penalty area trying to work time on his right foot and he does and he hits the post and it comes back out and Anthony can't get there two challenges from the shot from Anthony and it goes out for a corner Kelvin Brooks kisses the inside of the post so unlucky from the hosts but half time here in the Vanarama National League South Weymouth nil slows home nil Brooks does really well to keep it on in play on his chest on the touchline comes back towards Angalo and Angalo finds Hobson now Weymouth are going to try down the left hand side Hobson approaching halfway looking for options lays it into the feet of Jaden Anthony Anthony finds Whelan Whelan instantly under pressure from Ben Harris which steps away from it and a lovely touchdown and Brooks gets into the penalty area onto his left foot he's been Weymouth with Weymouth with four minutes of the second half goal Calvin Brooks made a break from the right hand side he gets into the penalty area he steps away from the defender I believe it was Nisbet it wasn't it was Jackman Jackman then just pulled him down in the penalty area and Weymouth have a penalty it's a straight run up it's going to be his right foot and he scores Weymouth score they finally put a penalty in the back of the net and Weymouth have the lead Weymouth won Slough Town nil all placed ahead of the number 11 Warren Harris and then he skips away from Sean Hobson and he's waiting for Jackman to go around the outside and he tries to find Jackman poor ball though and Harfield manages to stand up strong and poke it away from him and then stop the ball going out for a throw in and found Josh McCoy who finds a Gallo who gets muddled up in his feet really but steps away from one challenge then two and um, then in towards Jaden Anthony on the left hand side he hooks it up towards Ben Thompson Ben Thompson 25 yards out from goal but with his back to goal stepping away from the challenge in Lesbian does really well Ben Thompson and finds Tom Whelan in the centre circle and then moves out towards Camp on the right hand side back out towards Kelvin Brooks he's one on one with the defender he cuts inside and he cuts inside again and he gets on his left foot and just loses his foot in his toe really goes underneath the ball up in the air and over the crossbar and Slough Town weave again Slough Town fans trying to get behind their team trying to will them back into this game it looks as if Lynch Lynch is going to deliver this ball Jackman's got a little bit of room on the right hand side if it goes really deep it goes above the penalty spot and that's going to be a penalty to Slough Town it is Warsford who went down it was a clear foul in the penalty area the referee saw it and he's given a penalty to Slough Town and it looks like the goalkeeper Turner is coming to put the ball on the penalty spot keeper against keeper and Turner steps up and he's hit the crossbar and Hobson then gets the header clear and then Harfield hooks it away and the goal is unattended and McCoy carries it on to Thompson Thompson McCoy was clearly fouled off the ball and then Thompson and there's a battle going on between Thompson and there's kick outs and there's holding by Thompson and Hollis and now the players are all getting involved as Weymouth were rushing forward as the goal was unattended Turner hit the crossbar the goalkeeper and he was really taken out on halfway in an effort to prevent it the linesman must have seen it but as Thompson picks up the ball he was going to go one on one with Hollis Hollis goes down there was a little bit of argy bargy in between the two all 22 well all 20 players aside from the two goalkeepers have got involved the coaches are off the bench Mark Mosley's screaming at the assistant referee at the moment and eventually it's going to be it's Warren Harris who's come across he's going to go in the book by the looks of things that must be for the challenge on Harfield the Weymouth fans around me are absolutely furious Bench has got in behind here Weymouth he cuts inside and it's a great shot and it's just gone wide of the post and Weymouth breathe again excellent running by Lynch Turner just hit the ball over and Brennan Camp slightly switched off and here comes the wave of substitution and it's gonna be um, it's gonna be Andreas Robinson Andreas Robinson coming on to just shore up the midfield I should have thought and it looks as if it's gonna be Jordan Mangalo Jordan Mangalo's had a very good solid afternoon here for Weymouth he's gonna make way and Andy Robinson is gonna come back on Horsford has it on the left hand side, plays a long ball over towards Warren Howard. It's the header, but it's come the header, but it's come out towards Jackman. Jackman trying to find some room at the edge of the box and he drops it out as a shot from distance over the crossbar. Never really troubling trouble the Weymouth goal. Tom Wheeler. Ward's kick is really good at camp. Camp by camp. Camp gets onto the end of his own clearance. He tries to pull it back into the 
he tries to pull it back into the path of Jaden Anthony but there was nobody there and now Slough Town have a chance to break down the left hand side Lynch running at Whelan Whelan on a yellow card remember Lynch steps away from him Lee Whelan dangerously dangled the leg he's got Warren Harris down the right hand side and finds him stood up by Harfield towards the edge of the penalty area it gets a good cross in it hits the hand of Harfield in the penalty area I don't think he knew anything about it the Slough fans behind the goal are going absolutely crazy it's going to be a corner to Slough it does swing over towards to Sam Togwell, keeps it alive, and it's flicked in towards goal. Really good save by Callum Ward. It was flicked towards the underside of the crossbar by Jackman, the number two. And he, he just got his foot to the ball, and Ward had to react under his crossbar to tip it over. It's another corner to Slough, and they're really putting the pressure on now. Warsford in towards the six-yard box. It's flicked goalwards, and it's just dropped over the crossbar. That was Dan Roberts who got there. And the referee has said it bounced off a Weymouth player. He was being marshaled by Harfield, and it's gone back for a third successive corner to Slough Town. Just over five minutes of normal time to play. Weymouth 1-0 up in this vital, vital game third corner in quick succession Walsford again down the right hand side it's a beating everybody and oh my goodness it fell to Hollis and he just couldn't direct his head it, it glances off his head it goes wide of the post good, good good delivery and Andreas Robinson rises above everybody and clears and Thompson picks it back up and Jaden Anthony with a no look pass gives it away but and, uh, Andreas Robinson keeps the ball alive and Weymouth for three on two Abdullah Baggy approaching the edge of the penalty area Andreas Robinson goes outside laid in towards Anthony heavy touch good save from the goalkeeper it comes back out to Brooks and another excellent save from Turner the goalkeeper his reactions there were unreal and he just manages to get to get up and push the ball over the crossbar and out for a corner to Weymouth Oh my goodness, that could have put the game to bed. Still 1-0. He's more than atoned for his penalty miss. And Weymouth are going to put this in the box. Harfield's come out to take it. Across the six-yard box, Thompson is there! Over the head of Thompson, Andreas Robinson with the volley. And Weymouth have got double their lead in the final minute and a half of this game. Weymouth 2, Slough Town 0. Oh, what a finish, Andreas Robinson, what a finish that is. The ball was delivered by Harfield in towards Thompson, over the head of everybody. Thompson, just, it just over his head. And Andreas Robinson never took his eyes off the ball. He hit it with the side of his right foot, past the goalkeeper. It's Weymouth 2, it's Slough Town 0. Oh my goodness, what a game we've had here at the Bob Lucas Stadium. Walsford with his left foot is going to come across and take this free kick midway inside the Weymouth half. Weymouth will be looking to preserve a clean sheet now. It's a really good ball in and then headed out for a corner by Ben Thompson. Slough Town to their credit. Weymouth back three. Students of the Weymouth back three. Lynch is going to go across to the left hand side this time to take this corner. Slough Town fans still singing. Here comes the corner by Lynch. It's a good one above everybody it's going to bounce loose in the penalty area Slough trying to keep it alive and then Andreas Robinson hooks it clear and Abdullah Baggy is going to try and get Weymouth moving on the break and he crosses halfway he's being, he's being chased by Hollis all the way and it comes out towards Harfield who's continued the fight and he squares it in towards Jaden Anthony and Jaden Anthony on the half volley he tried to tuck it into the near corner Jack Turner stood up and he made an excellent save at his near post and Weymouth in the final 30 seconds of this game have got a corner and that is enough to get them over the line and there's the final whistle relief around the Bob Lucas Stadium Weymouth 2 Slough Town 0